Hey guys, welcome to a brand new unbox and review of AI-09 featuring Kamen Rider Geo. Sudo! Alright, so if you're anything like me, I recently got my AI-09 in the mail just because I had to wait for it to ship with AI-10. Um, and I figured I knew about everything in this box. Uh, so I figured why not just review it for everyone and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna unbox this i'm going to uh put it all together maybe do a time lapse and then you know let you know what i think anyway let's hop on over to the review station So first up, Zero Two, very nice figure. Obviously, I've been saying this a lot. He is the main character. He is the main figure in this lineup. So he is getting pretty much almost all of the budget, uh, just taking it away from a lot of other people. And we'll see how that sort of works out later. But um, there is a lot of different plastics at play here. Um, we have PVC in the head. Uh, so that we don't get those negative spaces in the back. Um, and then we also have like tons of paint. Oh yeah, this is PVC here even. Um, and I believe that was due to uh, to appease some toy safety standards. Um, and it looks nice, it looks great. And the added benefit anytime we ever get PVC is that those parts are typically painted like really well. Except we'll see an exception here in a bit, but um, we also have different colors of plastic, which we don't typically get, um, only, you know, we, we get maybe two, up to two, uh, but here we have three, uh, so most of him is black, but um, a lot of this thigh stuff, a lot of this leg stuff uh, back here, a lot of that is done in this, the, the lime yellow, and then we also have the red hands, um, and that extends to here as well. Uh, so yeah, this guy's looking pretty neat. Ooh. That's, okay, so that's another thing. I think this is an issue with mine only, but like, check this out. The, there's no snap, there's no like, um, if you take, let's say for instance, zero one, any other Soto figure, right? When you pop out that part, there's, there's significant resistance. When you pop it back in, there's a little, a light snap just because of that mushroom peg. Um, but you're not, I'm not getting that in my Zero Two. Um, I haven't tried the other arm and I kind of don't want to, but it hasn't seemed to fall out just as easily as this one has. Um, so that's a little bit of a disappointment, but you know, QC aside, this, huh, okay. <laughs> if that wants to happen, then that can go ahead. Um, there are a lot of stickers on here. I won't lie. Um, I said before that um, even though he, he, you know, it, he looked fine without all his stickers before, but like the stickers really amp it up. Um, the silver is almost there in terms of like paint matching. Um, this has like a really brushed, or not brushed, but like sprayed on feel. Like you can tell there's a, there's a speckle to it. Um, and I don't think that was intentional. And there's just this nice sheen, silvery sticker here. Um, but then again, the silver here looks pretty, no, nah, I can tell a little bit of speckles, but yeah, um, that's those. Um, he's also got two weapons. This is slightly new uh, in that we have a re-release of this sword. We've gotten this like multiple times um, so to compare the very first time we got it, the mold that started all of it, uh, they wanted to go back and sort of extend that because in the surveys, uh, they got a lot of people asking, Hey, uh, can we get a bigger version of his main sword? And they delivered, they absolutely did deliver. So proportionally everything sort of checks out except when you get to this blade because it is, when you compare it here, it's the exact same mold, 
uh, but this one, this one's fully painted. This one is molded. Um, so it is slightly different. You get a slight variation, but it is the same size. So that's a little disappointing. Um, if any of them were to get a size upgrade, I honestly would have wanted it to be the lime green one. Uh, but you know, you win some, you lose some. This figure looks great anyway. Once again, the only real problem I have is that joint there in the shoulder. Um, also, another thing that just really needs to change with Soto, we gotta not have more feet stickers. I know that a lot of stuff has come out for Saber already, and it's looking like he's getting a foot sticker, and that's not gonna change, but I, I would really very much appreciate uh, no more foot, feet stickers, because those are absolutely the worst. Absolutely. Okay. Anyway, that's it for that one. Let's move on to Arc Zero. All right, Arc Zero. Um, looking absolutely fantastic. Now the blog had detailed this out. He is a situation where um, they did not know going in uh, if he would have weapons or not when they were designing this figure. So he got punchy fists. Um, now, if you watch the show, you'll know that he basically just 3D prints other people's weapons. Um, so they weren't able to like add any of those in. So yeah, he's getting his punchy fists, but everything around him, all this detailing, like the stickers work really well. Um, here, like, and just like with a little bit of zero two, there was that like overlap sort of situation here where you go over that curve. Uh, and then the stickers need to like fold in on each other, which I don't, I don't particularly appreciate, but once you get it all down and like get a good order of operations around, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, there are some like really, I don't want to say intricate, like eh, very considered stickers going on here. Cause these are two parts because there are two different layers and I don't know why they don't do that for everything else. Um, but here, looking at, oh man, how do I focus this? No? Oh, that did it! Okay, I'm figuring this out as we go. Um, so yeah, uh, this detail here is gorgeous. Like, all the molding is there if you wanted to, like, pick it out and paint, because not everything is. Um, and basically, I did kind of want to do a comparison to Zero One just to see, just to see... How much of this is like reused? Let's see. No, I mean, it's getting washed out by my lights. No, that looks worse, God. Um, yeah, that lime green isn't really helping, but I think, yeah, the legs from the waist down, it's basically the same figure, except I believe the feet are different. So this is, oh, yeah, and I guess, you know, this arm here, um, a lot of this, a lot of this is mold reuse. Um, so once again, zero two, ton of new molding, ton of new paint, ton of new plastic, uh, but zero arc one, or sorry, arc zero, he's mostly reused. So that's just, I don't know how it works out. And I think that's very efficient. So that's just a little bit of the mentality behind that, I think. Um, also, his eyes, uh, you'll notice that they are painted underneath here. Uh, they give you an option sticker that I cannot find, uh, but I will find, and uh, I'm just going to slap those on right now because I do want to show off some of that detail. Give me one sec. All right, so uh, here are the stickers on his head, and let's get a zoom in on that a little bit. Okay. I guess focus is the right term. But yeah, um, basically what had happened was that they know that a lot of people really like the uh, painted eyes on Soto and they get a lot of praise for it in, uh, in the surveys. But um, they realized that they weren't gonna be able to like recreate the, uh, the pattern in the eye uh, without doing sticker details. So they decided to give you options for both and I really appreciate that. My buddy Chris, 
Shout out to <laughs> Long's Toys. I know he's probably gonna want to go for the uh, sticker list route, but I do, I do still appreciate these stickers, and I, I'm glad that they gave us an option. Like this is the first like true option sticker I've seen in a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, this whites, these whites here, these are all done in sticker, but like it's hard to tell. Like even I forgot for a little bit that these were done in stickers. Um, so I think this is really nice. Um, like I said, it's mold reuse out the wazoo, but it, it really all looks so good. Um, and I'm into it. Something, something I am interested in though, when comparing to zero one. Good. Yeah. Have your, have your shoulders fall off. That's good. Yeah. Um, so back in zero one's first wave, uh, they had this whole chest area, like clamp all the way around and have these like sort of straps these continuous straps but you can see the mold is perfectly fine if you wanted to um, omit some of those uh, in favor of like a, a more lean look so um, that's just something speculative if we ever get like a Kai Soda version of Zero One that's something that I'd like to see them do but yeah anyways that is Arc Zero. Oh wait uh, before we move on from Arc Zero there's actually something I want to show you check this out um, you can take those punchy fists ooh, that I was referring to with uh, Arc Zero and put them on Zero One. So in show, uh, there are supposed to be some details on Arc Zero's fists that uh, they just weren't able to recreate in Soto. So that means the fists are actually compatible with Zero One and actually look good. And, 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 <laughs> in terms of things you can do with Arc Zero. If you remember, we got an accessory set um, uh, earlier on in the line, uh, and it was mainly with Geo stuff, but it also had some pointy fingers for Zero One. So that basically means you can take those fingers and technically, you'd be able to recreate his finger shooting, uh, his actual finger guns from the show if you have an extra one of these sets, which I do. So I'm going to be adding that to my accessory collection for this guy. Anyway, let's move on to the Barossa Magir. All right, it's time for the Barossa Magir and it's, it's fantastic, I'm loving it. Uh, another, something I really wanted to talk about are the cost saving measures in this guy, but we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, I opted for the bad guy stickers uh, on here uh, for for the, the side of the head and also the, um, the broken progress key on here. Um, let's see. So the stickers, they give you the option to, to have like the good guy version, which does not exist. It does not exist in the show. It was just something neat that the developers were like, hey, let's let's just add that. Let's just add something fun to this. And I'm, I'm in full support of it. So, you know, get yourself some extras. Um, also, another thing you could do um, is, oh, where is he? You can take um, your, oops, your regular Trilobite Magir um, and you can swap out the crotch um to have it resemble eh, come on to have it resemble uh the magir or the the barossa magir except you know not not uh corrupted by the whatever the belt's called uh, because in the show there was a time where um you could potentially see uh, a Magyar go berserk on its own without one of those. Um, so yeah, you can if you want. Um, another thing, you know what, let me clear this out. Ah. All right, so another thing I wanted to note about these two, this whole figure came in one box, but this guy comes in two. Uh, and if we're talking about cost cutting measures in relation to zero two and how we got that, um, it's like these two, are the same price. You bought them for the same price and you're getting substantively less, like actually less. And then they give you the extras in the other one. Granted, you get a stand, 
But I just wanted to make it clear that this is mold reuse. <laughs> Uh, in service of zero two and how smart that that was to sort of suss out um, And it does feel like one of the standard half and half body situations And it doesn't really feel like you're getting ripped off because this this felt like value this felt like You know exactly as much as you should be getting anyway so yeah, anyway, uh, there's some really big things that I want to hit with this guy. Uh, first off is the head. Um, it is it is huge. Uh, there's a lot of paint on it too, because uh, this is molded in black. So like I said, it was sort of budgety, you know, cost cutting, but we did pour a lot of paint into this figure's head. Uh, so I really appreciate it. And there's like this little gradient on the eyes. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, anyway, uh, something that I really pre appreciate about Soto uh, that I don't really uh, talk about too often is that it's really helpful for stupid people like me. Um, basically, when you take these off the sprue, these little pieces here that sort of are supposed to connect to these swords, um, this peg is actually a different size than this peg. So if you end up getting it wrong, you'll know. Like everything has its place and there's no way for you to, to sort of, well, it, it's hard for you to screw it up. Um, and then even uh, the stickers, the way they're laid out, most times they're in order, like going all the way down. I did not have the instructions ready uh, to put these down. Uh, so I did not know whether, you know, left or right, but just due to its placement, I was able to sort of suss that out myself. Um, but yeah, uh, these swords, what we typically don't see in Soto is that we get a reverse side sticker. Um, and I, it's just something that I really appreciate here. Once again, I'm not, I'm not the biggest proponent of stickers, but you know, when you use them, at least detail both sides if you're not going to detail the other side. So I really appreciate it anytime they end up actually doing that. Uh, he comes with uh, his other set of hands that are probably on the stand somewhere. Yeah, right here. Um, and, you know, they fit right in pretty, now, pretty nicely. Uh, so, yeah, that's neat. Love this guy. Uh, let's check out the next one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll find out. All right, check it out. It is the Generation 1 uh, Humagear. And you know what? I should have expected this. I don't know. I, I kind of know why I was surprised. It's just that, you know, in show. Because um, obviously this is a mold reuse of the Guardian. What in an awkward pose, sir. Um, it is a full mold reuse of the Guardian. Or better yet, a full mold reuse of... Uh, Kakai that we got in Geo, but um, you know, in show, I thought these areas were all sort of smoothed out a little more, uh, but I guess they weren't because you know Soto's accurate. It would have uh, it would have corrected that otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's so good to see that body come back again. And the thing about this is that the original. Um, the original use of it came in two parts, but because they're reusing the mold, um, or rather, when they reuse the mold for Kikai, he came in one box, and now here, uh, it's coming in one box again, just because they are able to reuse the mold, and that cut so many costs. So once again, cost-cutting measures. Uh, so actually, this time is something extra. He has hands, his open hands, rather. Um, so, if you want hands for your Kakai, you've got them here. Just buy an extra one. Um, so, yeah, this looks really good. This is another situation where you have um, the option to have blue eyes or red eyes. I don't know where I put the stickers, but, you know, you know what red looks like. You can pretend. Um, and, yeah, there are, there are stickers. There are significant stickers on here. But, you know what? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Once again, zero two creeping in, stealing, absolutely seeping the budget off of this guy. So uh, <laughs> that's basically how it happened. And you know what? I'm fine with it. I, I am perfectly fine just as long as we've actually gotten a generation one Humagear. This can serve as Aruto's dad. 
Uh, this can serve as any any of the Generation 1 human gear. It can serve as that one, like, really smart one that showed up uh, that was, like, Izu's brother or whatever. Um, so, yeah, there are a lot of possibilities with this, um, and I really appreciate this. The stickers, um, the... <sighs> Let's see, let me focus in on some of this. Uh, the stickers lay okay, except when you get to these raised areas. It, it's always the raised areas that are the biggest issue. Um, but outside of that, uh, it, it has been pretty good. Like, this thing was well behaved. I feel like, for me, the cheek stickers were some of the better ones, just because they fit so nicely. Um, like everything was cut so so precisely um, that I could not fault these. Uh, the shoulders, yeah, they're bad. They were they were bad with uh, Kikai as well. But um, oh man, yeah, this is much better. And this this one came in two pieces. You don't even get the the back half of this. So that's a slight disappointment. But you know what? I'm I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it because this. This was in one box. This was in one box. This is 400 yen. Can you believe it? This is like four bucks in Japan. Less than. Um, so yeah, this is a really good value proposition. I am so happy with this one. Anyway, let's move on to the Dodo Magir. All right, I was slightly wrong with what I just said. This is the Dodo Magir chick. Um, and yeah, once again, uh, we are. this is basically the same value proposition you're getting out of a standard mock here uh, because this comes all in one uh, once again mold reuse because zero two is sucking the dude's budget out um, just in service of that figure and it works out and on top of that you get a brand new head that they'll be able to reuse in uh, the final wave of uh, zero one toys um, I really like the red on this one um, all of the red detail is done in stickers, so you do get that uniformity um, that I really appreciate. Even though, you know, once again, it is stickers, and they're not the best, but when everything is uniformly the same color, it works out. And on top of that, like, you have, you have straps. Like, all the red, for the most part, except for the eyes, is done up in, er, like, the details are straps. So they are technically... A different material on the suit itself um, so it kind of makes sense that all the straps are a different material just as a toy so that's something that I really appreciate about this guy um, honestly it looks good it's just the the Magir again this does not have the uh, blue colored uh, earpieces so don't expect one of those uh, this is a wonderful figure. I absolutely love it. Anyway, not much to say. Let's move on to Sukiyomi. Yoi! It's Sukiyomi time. <laughs> uh, this figure, uh, just like with Zero Two, has taken up a lot of budget. She is not one of the ones that that gives budget to other people. She took a lot of it away, um, and that's a lot to do with the PVC. So. Um, she was gonna have a lot of PVC. They knew that to start with. So that's why Zero One has PVC pieces is because they were doing PVC, you know, the soft plastic for this wave anyway, and they were able to give some of that budget to Zero Two. Um, so yeah, uh, this figure looks great. The PVC, anytime they have detail on here, on the front, except not the back, on the front, they're, they're gonna have to paint it, and it looks really good. You got that nice gold trim. Um, this, the Fractor, uh, the Luminous Fractor. I almost forgot the name. Um, this came out war. Uh, but yeah, this is not the best look, but honestly, it's neat that we got it at all. Um, another neat addition is the weapon here. So yeah, she definitely used that in the show but only as her civilian form. Something that the blog noted was that um, she never used it in the show, but she did it on the live stage show. Uh, so this is technically the first live stage show representation we've gotten at all. And it is all in this one gun. And they had the mold already. So it, it's really awesome that they brought that back here. Um, 
But yeah, and also, hey, check this out. Uh, just because she had such a small frame, they had to change up the articulation scheme. Uh, with zero one and zero two, all of its like front and back armor plates. But here it is just the front and it like, it fully conforms to that body piece. Um, so uh, they didn't leave a whole lot of room in the shoulders. So they had to make ball joints. I believe that was the case. Um, that's what it's looking like to me. Um, and yeah, also we get these nice out, Audi movement um, skirts, so that's good. Um, I, I am okay with these foot stickers because they're so subtle. Well, not subtle, like they're easier to put on. It's just a single stripe. Uh, when I complain about feet stickers, it's usually like full on foot. Uh, but here it's pretty tame and I absolutely appreciate it. Tsukiyomi looks great. Um, very happy to finally have her in my collection, uh, especially with her signature weapon that she killed. Uh, oh wait, I probably shouldn't spoil that in here. Did any of you watch Zero One? Geo, I mean? Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, she looks great, uh, but technically, she technically doesn't have a place. Like, these guys are the Kai Soda versions. So they all have the uh, light piped eyes. Tsukiyomi does not. Um, they all have the foot treads and Tsukiyomi does not. Uh, so then you might want to pair her with your retail releases of the figures, but um, she has the stickered ride watch. So the stickers are up to Kai Soto specification, but the rest of her isn't. Um, so a little bit out of place, a little bit. I mean, I know it's just a really tiny, tiny minuscule nitpick, but it's something I noted. So you know what? Uh, look, this is just me being a Soto fan. Um, she looks great. I am absolutely in love with this figure. Uh, I'm so glad to finally have it. this. This falls out a lot though. Oh, uh, something that was speculated on though, uh, that I do want to figure out right now. People were saying that the fists were the same mold for Geo and Tsukiyomi, and it looks, yeah, that's looking like the same mold there. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's just take a look. One final overview of the entirety of this set. All right, so absolute final thoughts. Uh, I really love this set. If you've known me for any amount of time, you know that I love, love, love army builders. And this comes with three, uh, so I might need to buy this set in perpetuity. Then again, I will end up with some extra Tsukiyomi's Zero Twos and Arc Zeros, but that's all fine and good. Um, this set is just a lot of fun to mess around with and the I guess the 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 considerations that they put for for budget are all fully on display like it is it is blatant what they're doing with a lot of these these army builders because there is a lot of mold reuse and it's just something interesting that I I really like having physical representation of like there are figures here that are so clearly um, budgeted uh, so that Zero Two can take a lot of it. I've said that throughout this episode. But yeah, I, I really like that aspect of it as well. Like you get to see the thought process in motion here with these figures. Um, and yeah, this is, this is just a super fun set. Uh, something to really help close out the line. Though, it would have been nice to fill these slots with some figures that may have deserved more representation, but I understand. Once again, I completely understand why a lot of these decisions were made. So, I don't know. That Maybe that's just me, um, you know, making up excuses for this line just because I love it. I am biased, but um, I don't know. It's... It's such an interesting line to follow. Uh, this is another interesting uh, piece of the, the collection. And on top of that, Tsukiyomi uh, is just a relic of Geo. Um, so like something I didn't mention before is that Geo didn't really finish its line and Zero One really had to pick up its slack. And here's Tsukiyomi taking up a lot of the budget from all these other figures, which 
it, it does suck. It absolutely does. But we got a really nice figure out of it, and I can't really complain all that much. Um, anyway, that's it for these guys. That's it for me. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this set. Um, and let me know what you think about this video in general at the time of this recording. I don't know quite how I'm going to edit it, but let me know what things you liked from it, what things you didn't think worked, because I really want to make this a bigger part of the channel. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Also, there are still links in the description down below to how you can help support the Black Lives Matter movement by donating money, signing petitions, whatever you do, as long as you do it, it absolutely helps, especially now in the times we're living in. Um, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy.